what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it <laughs> so that i can thank you the next time when you see this video <laughs> so today's topic is who cannot become spiritual my god i was thinking he will speak on who can become but no today's topic is who cannot become spiritual there's a lot of talk on spirituality these days what to do where to do when to do how much to do and what not to do but today's video is not on that we will make videos on those topics some other day but today's topic is who cannot become spiritual and if you like this video after watching till the end please make sure you click the thumbs up and if you like this then also share it with somebody who thinks he or she cannot become spiritual <laughs> or share it with yourself once again if you think like that all right let's begin this is on the playlist fire of inspirations that is why i thought why not try to inspire people from whatever i have heard from my gurus and the esteemed sages in this kaliyuga <laughs> there are very few sages left very less are remaining now but i will try my best to share from whatever i have heard from them if you talk of astrology here everybody has a jupiter right <laughs> even a terrorist or a atheist or a agnost or a skeptic or a religious or a yogi anybody he is or she is they have a jupiter yes that means everybody also has a ninth house ninth house is the house of spirituality ninth house is the house of god it is the house of our gurus oh my god then why are people not taking to spirituality if everybody has a jupiter well we have to work out that when we see the chart why rather than seeing why the person is not doing spiritual practices we should see how can the person do because why he is not doing is his free will but we have to see how to induce the person to do those things depending on various aspects of the horoscope yes that's the best thing to do that means the topic who cannot become spiritual is invalid everybody anybody everyone anyone can become spiritual see basically what is the meaning of the word spiritual there's a lot of confusion what is the difference between religion and spirituality here i will tell you the difference before telling the difference i will tell you how it is perceived i will tell you the actual difference later and i will tell you the perceived difference the misconception which people have about spirituality and religion see these days religion is kind of a bad word it has a negative connotation to it if you say you are religious people will say oh he is outdated he is boring he is he is an idiot basically he is following rules 1000 million years back <laughs> but if you the moment you say oh no no i am spiritual people will be like oh yeah he's good man he's great he's awesome he's fabulous he's mind blowing but the question is how is the difference perceived people don't know <laughs> spirituality is the so called buzzword of today basically these days how you differentiate religion and spirituality is anything that you call spiritual cannot have relation with the existing religions then it becomes spiritual see what a predicament it is how funny it is let me give you an example here there was once a person who contacted me for some kind of a talk and then what happened we were just talking about what to do spiritually which practice to do which practice not to do then what happened this fellow told me he went to a particular country in asia i will not take the name 
इट मे बी इंडिया इट मे बी चाइना इट मे बी हॉन्गकॉन्ग थाईलैंड बैंकॉक एनी एनी प्लेस इन एशिया फिल इट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट इट टू बी सो देन वॉट एवर दिस फेलो वेन देयर एंड देन ही सॉ दैट देर इज अ सेंटर वेर दे आर टीचिंग सम स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस सो वॉट हैपन दे वेंट he went to the center and then he started asking and inquiring can you tell me sir what is going on here and then the authority of the temple or mosque or church whatever you call it he came out and said look sir uh, this 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 is the procedure which we follow this 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 we do first we do this then this then this then this step wise he listed down all the procedures and let me give you a dummy name for that <laughs> let me give a dummy name dummy name means i'm not revealing the name of that practice i'm just giving you a idea let's call it a chinese meditation ching kong <laughs> there is no meditation like ching kong even if it is there i don't know i'm just giving an example whatever is coming to my mind so then what happened this person tried it for 6 months now first thing remember you remember meditation okay put it in that box we will come to meditation later put it in that box now we will open the box later so what happened this person went to that center and he started the ching kong meditation <laughs> again i don't know if there is any meditation in china called ching kong i do not know even if it is there i apologize i have no idea of ching kong meditation then what happened this person followed it for 6 months and he didn't get much result or at least some result he should have obtained but there was no result and then what happened he went to another center <laughs> and there he saw another meditation that name will be ching kong kai meditation <laughs> earlier one was ching kong meditation this is ching kong kai <laughs> and then he tried 6 months there also nothing happened <laughs> and then he went to another place and he found another meditation and this was for long time he was doing the third one and i would name this as ching meditation <laughs> ching kong ching kong kai and ching meditation all right and he did this for 2 years and then later on he went to another place in a different country he went in a different continent he was frustrated with the asian continent and then he went into another place <laughs> and there he started another energy raising practice that was maybe ching kong kung kai meditation <laughs> ching kong kung kai all right so then what happened he was frustrated and then he was searching for things here there and nothing worked out and then he called me i said what are you doing sir you are wasting time from 3 years now more than 3 years actually why don't you do this meditation why don't you chant this mantra which is there in the upanishads he said no i will not take shelter of religion i will only take to spirituality i am not a religious person i will never do any practice of hinduism <laughs> i said sir kindly with due respect can you describe me ching kong meditation he said yeah ching kong meditation is a meditation which i stopped him stop it hold on what did you just say you said ching kong meditation where has the word meditation come from he was like we all know meditation is meditation right you meditate on something i said that is what i am asking you from where has the word meditation come then he could not answer me he was speechless oh my god <laughs> and then i asked him what are they trying to do in that 
ching kong meditation so he said they are trying to awaken the chakras i said shut up hold on what is chakra from where has this word chakra come he said we all know chakra chakras there are seven chakras i said nonsense where has the word chakra and the seven chakras come from six seven eight whatever from where has this word come from and then he could answer because he knew the answer and because he also knows i also know the answer so basically what i am trying to say is today's concept of spirituality is something you pick from some existing religious book and then you try to present it in a very sophisticated manner in a manner which nobody can understand by using names like ching kong ching ching kong kung ching kong kai <laughs> and then you call it a spiritual practice no there is nothing called spiritual you have taken it from a religious book so today's misconception of spirituality is that it is away from the religious principles which is not possible because without religion you can have no idea of how to approach god that is simply not possible because if you do not read the religious books you do not know how to go to god and if you think you can manufacture your own process when they all the best <laughs> let me also see how you manufacture your own process to god now you will say i will think of god no you are not allowed to think thinking is mananam <laughs> it is one of the processes of meditation so meditation is already there in the scriptures you cannot think of god i am sorry if you are spiritual you cannot think you cannot look you cannot do anything all these are all already existing <laughs> so do not try to manufacture some existing process and give it a name oh this is a spiritual practice this is not a religious practice everything is from the religious books either it is kriya yoga tantra yantra puja mudra whatever you call it it is there from the existing scriptures even in christianity you have chanting in the rosary beads even in islam you have namaz where you bow down to allah the supreme that's the meaning of the word allah allah means the greatest yes <laughs> so these days people think that spiritual means it has nothing to do with the religious books that's complete nonsense any practice you have in this world which is quote and quote so called spiritual has some origin to the vedas or to the quran or to the bible or to the upanishads or to the bhagavatam or to the gita or the ramayana or the mahabharata or the tora or the dharmapada you cannot manufacture anything without that it's simply not possible yeah what you can do is you may present it in a very sophisticated manner and you may pretend and you may fool others no 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 this is our meditation but meditation itself is there in the scriptures how come meditation became yours <laughs> all right so that is the misconception delineation of the so called name religion from your spiritual practices cannot hide the reality all right but now i will tell you what exactly is the difference between religion and spirituality so this is the misconception which people have suppose i tell that i go to a shiva temple people will say i am religious but if i say i am doing ching kong meditation <laughs> then they will say oh yeah yeah he is very spiritual that's complete nonsense it is just another form of religion which nobody knows maybe <laughs> yes but everybody knows a shiva temple then they will blast oh he is a religious person he is a orthodox he is a old uh, person he is not modern he is outdated he is he is narrow minded these are the words they use right if if, if they see for somebody who is religious but what ideally is the difference ideally the difference is religion the difference between a religious person and a spiritual person what ideally the difference is in reality 
or what it should be actually is that the person who is religious for him god is a part of his life should i repeat god is a part of his life i am repeating again god is a part of his life god is not the goal but for a spiritual person the spiritual word means that which is connected to spirit spirit is atma when the chitta the consciousness is connected to the paramatma that is called spirit and a person who follows a spiritual path with an aim to obtain god that person is called spiritual so a spiritual person his goal is to obtain god but a religious person his goal is not necessarily to obtain god am i understood here <laughs> For example, if you go to the temple and you give a donation of ten rupees, or maybe two euros, <laughs> three euros, ten euros, or you go to the church to the Sunday mass and you go and donate something, why are you donating it? <laughs> or suppose you do some puja, some ritual, why you are doing it? Because you want some benefits. That means you are religious. am i being understood here but if you take the mala and you chant the name of lord shiva or the name of lord krishna or the name of lord ram why not because you want money not because you want a good wife not because you want a good husband not because you want name not because you want fame because you want them then you are spiritual so if anybody is doing some so called spiritual practice and his goal of life is not to obtain god then he is not spiritual <laughs> there's a difference between god being part of your life and goal of your life do you understand the difference part and goal god is a part of life means okay you were doing everything sometimes you 2 uh, 3 minutes a day you will just think of god also sometimes you see lord shiva's photo maybe then you feel oh yeah lord shiva is so nice but when god becomes your goal then 24 hours you are thinking of him either you are working or you either you are in a factory or you are in a food business or you are in a corporate job or you are in a government job when god is the goal everything else is simply external so there you go find out if you are spiritual or you are religious <laughs> and because every body has a jupiter there's nobody who cannot become spiritual that is the conclusion <laughs> yes everybody can become spiritual everybody means everybody there's nobody who cannot become spiritual all right <laughs> there you go difference between religion and spirituality religious people god is simply a part of their life who uses god to fulfill their own desires and a spiritual person a truly spiritual person he will not go to god and ask things give me this give me that because he doesn't want all those he wants god himself all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then let me know and if you want to book a personal consultation then go to the link of my website vedic renaissance below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and before ending as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find <laughs> ching kong meditation okay or if not ching kong then ching or maybe ching kong kai or ching kong kung kai <laughs> good luck with your indian chinese turkish meditations okay see you bye bye